Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also gonna get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're gonna do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely, our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down, you'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. So y'all know the list of things that black people cannot do in America gets longer and longer every day. Well, I happened upon this story on TikTok, and it's of a black man who showed up to work early and he said his white manager um, told him that he could not come into work until eight o'clock, which it sounds like it was his time to work. Well, he said as she was telling him he couldn't come in early, she was allowing white uh, employees that weren't necessarily scheduled to come in at that time to come in early. And so she eventually ends up calling the police on him. And he was like, well, what did I do wrong? I just showed up to work early. Now on the second part of the video that I'm about to show you, this happened, check it out. The manager's upset because I came to work early. Now she mind, she let the white guy in here who works in there, she let him in there, but she shut the door on me. They, she didn't want me to come in. That's a, that's a, that, that is a, that is a, 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 a prejudice move when you did that. And you, I'm radical. This is 2023. We ain't tolerating that no more. At all, period. We ain't afraid to go to no jail or none of that. We gonna tell the truth. She mad at me, that upset with me. See, I know she is because she called the police because she want me to go to jail. She don't want me here because she know I'm going to call. And then in that mind on that, I'm going to call corporate and tell corporate. Corporate don't tolerate this mess. So, Mr. Harris, sir, here's the deal. All right, so what your manager just explained to me is that they don't want you to work today just because of how you are right now. So what they want you to do is just leave the property until further notice, okay? Now see, now look, look, look y'all, they want me to leave the property. I come to work early. The police tell me to leave the property because I come here because I came to work early. Never, have you ever heard somebody getting fired for coming to work early? It got something more deeper than that because that's the reason why she, and they look further notice. So as you saw there, the police officer says, well, you know, she's asking you um, to leave the premises and she doesn't want you to come to work due to how you are. And so then the brother was like, so basically, you know, I'm being fired because I came to work early. Now you also heard him say that, listen, in 2023, we ain't putting up with this anymore. And that was my favorite part of the video because he's letting them know, listen, this ain't the old type of uh, black people y'all used to dealing with. And especially there in Picayune, Mississippi, which I listen, no shade to Picayune, Mississippi, but that don't sound like nowhere I'd want to be. But he's saying we're not putting up anymore with it. We're fighting back. We're letting you know we're not going to just leave up out of here uh, because you said I'm at work too early, but you're allowing the other people to come in there. And so a lot of people are tagging Applebee's to let them know, hey, you got a racist manager working for you in Picayune, uh, Mississippi. Uh, so y'all need to do something about it. And he also went on to say in the other video that the general manager doesn't have a problem with me coming in early. In fact, they've let me in and, you know, we're cool about it. But with her, she decided to pick and choose and be racist and prejudiced and not allow him to go in there. And this is what I want to leave off saying too. Y'all's black people, we know that we could benefit from having more businesses of our own. And that way we don't have to worry about dealing with people like Karens as much because that's just the nature of them. That's what they do, right? They like to subjugate black people. And I don't even know if they realize they're doing it. It's just kind of like second nature, I would think, to some of them. And so it would behoove us to get our businesses 
and hire our own people, treat them nicely and with respect too. You know what I mean? So that way we don't have to be like, oh, why you do me like that, master? Please treat me right. Not saying that's necessarily what he was saying. I think he had a legitimate beef uh, for not liking to be treated like that. And he said that he's been in the restaurant industry 40 years. So I'm sure he's seen a lot of stuff, but that one was probably a new one on him. Like I, I, I'm getting a police called on me for showing up to work early. So yeah, y'all, so if y'all can do me a favor, perhaps share this video with Applebee's or tag Applebee's and say, hey, this is what your uh, manager is doing to her black employees in Picayune, Mississippi. That would be great. And also before you leave, if y'all could do us a favor, head on over to the African Diaspora News app, africandiasporanews.org, sign up so that we can depend on these platforms um, less and we can go over and do our own thing and y'all can feel right at home, right? So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that story and for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.